repetitive process. Do you need a hero? I need a gen jockey. Alright, so you can teach me something or what? Yeah, but I don't know what yet or how. We'll just start with. Oh, maybe we'll start, start with Shaq because it's the most easy thing. For Shaq. <laughs> no, I'm already at Shaq. Pack your body. Just give me a second. I was going to play. You know how to leave Shaq ready or what? Like, no, not really, no. You don't know how to leave Shaq. No. Oh, you should probably. Oh, you do have any means. Okay, never mind. I was gonna say, you should have any means of this, because I'll probably not break pallets if I fuck up. Well, it depends on what you can sit for. I gotta say, you're not the most handsome fellow. Rude. Alright. Oh, I guess we'll start we'll start for now and just show me what you would do normally at Shaq. Go to the pallet and just I'll know, teabag when you're ready and I'll chase you. Don't throw the pallet instantly. It's not really a one for one, just leave Shaq as long as you can. Show me what you would do. Alright, go. See I'm gonna be really rusty here. <laughs> it's been a minute for me. And then Yeah, okay. I think I would have got the hit there, just saying. <coughs> I gotta Should figure I out what am I. It? What am I trying. Nah, yeah, but. You had the right idea with going to the pallet and fucking. vaulting it like that. But you faked it, which would have got you hit anyway. The window. Yeah. I don't think I would have made it. Uh, probably not. Probably not. I think you were hit either way. Man, it's been such a long time since I've actually teach someone to do shit. <laughs> you gotta, you gotta, I guess I should show you that, like, you, when you, when you vault the windows and shit, you gotta stay at them, for, for starters. Like, uh, how do I explain it? Like, you come back here. So when you, like, vault the windows and shit, so if you'd vaulted this, here, you got on the other side, so I can start explaining it the proper way. <laughs> So usually you'd vault the window like that, and a killer would be in here, and he would have to debate what he wants to do, which... Uh, you're supposed to sit either at this side, which is usually the best side, here? and hide your body. Yeah, you're supposed to hide your body. And then watch what I do. Is what you're, So essentially you're supposed to do at this loop, and then vice versa if you were... Uh, let's say you had to go through the window this way, randomly. You would want to sit like by the locker there. Uh, if you sit by the locker. I mean, uh, I'm trying to show you the safe spots you want to sit at. It's like right here. Depends if I have like range attack. Right here? If I have range attack, you want to like jump in the locker really quickly and shit. Well, yeah, what do you like mean right range here. Attack? But you'd be like hiding your body up against like the locker in the doorway so I can't really see you. I would think you went out per se. Like I can still see your med kit and shit. So you'd want to be kind of out the door, essentially. Yeah, like that, like that. You can still see me, right? Yeah. See if I'm going this way or not. Or if I'm going that way. Or if I'm just like going through the fucking window and you have to keep running through. You understand what I'm saying? Do you understand? Uh, I'm trying I, to teach you I'm, safe spots for the shack, essentially, where so, you're supposed to stand when I'm. At so, so it makes spot. it you're so. You're supposed to have your camera behind you, which when I watch your stream, you never have your camera behind you, <laughs> like almost ever. What do you mean behind me? Because you would be running away from me, essentially, and come back to the window. Come back to the window. So, essentially, I'd be running at you like this, and you'd be going this way, and you wanna... If I was Survivor, what I'd do is I'd run out this way, like this, and then do a quick turn, if they're still on me, and you, like, get a fast fall. But the whole time, you'd have your camera behind you, not looking in front of you, per se. Which you do a lot of the time, look just in front of you. Uh, you gotta learn when to I look loop behind me, behind I run into stuff. I'll run into. Yeah, well, that's why we're here. You just learn to look behind you. I'll fucking... run into like this, right? Like this metal thing here. Well, that's where something... you gotta learn. That's where learning the game comes into play. You gotta learn some of these things have collisions, stupidly enough. And it's usually the window here. So you just lightly go off the the wall for a sec when you come up to it. So I come through here and I'm and I want to wait over you here. You want to stand there while watching my movement, seeing if I go this way, so you'd come back in shack, or if I go, you know, through window and you'd keep running around. But then also some killers would instantly go back to the window, and you got to be careful of that. 
This is where you gotta, you gotta understand some of these 50-50s. Uh, mm -hmm. There was one other thing I was gonna say and I've almost forgotten what was it. We were talking about Fuck. collision on things. Looking behind me. Yes. Whatever, let's go to Safe spots. We'll come back here in a moment when I can actually think about what I was talking about. Here, throw this pallet down for now. Just throw it? Yeah, just throw it down. Uh, this is a filler pallet. It's unsafe. It's not great. But if you got stuck here, you'd want to know how to stay alive per se and loop it. Which is always going to be, of course, mirroring my movement and going to the other side of the loop. Yep, keep doing that. And, uh, you gotta create, I, I don't know the proper term for it, but as a survivor, you have to, you have to understand when I'm close enough and I'm gonna get a hit, and you also have to make, what is it, what am I trying to say? Okay, if you go sit at the pallet, sit like right here, like, uh, like I'm about to be close enough to hit you or something. Right here, over here, there, side. so like, yeah, okay, good enough. So like, you have to, uh, I don't know what you'd call it, but there's like, you, you draw like a, <laughs> In your mind, you put like a spot on the loop where if I get to that spot, you gotta press spacebar per se. I, I don't know how to explain it, it's just the way I've always thought about it. There's like there's like certain spots on a loop where you have to understand you're gonna have to hit spacebar before I go around. Like like for here it'd be like just as I'm getting around to this side of the tire per se. And then you'd have to press spacebar. Uh, cause you have to... I'm so bad at explaining right now. <laughs> you gotta... There's an actual video I could probably send you about it, but it's like, uh... You're waiting until they get to a certain point on the loop before you actually allow yourself to press spacebar. It's a vault? Yeah. In other, in other words, uh, otherwise I would keep trying to run around it? If you have the distance, of course, but if you don't, you gotta, like, understand at what point on the loop I'm gonna, like, right about there you'd probably want to vault. And then, like, you're... I'm so bad at explaining. Maybe we can go to another palette, it's a little bit easier to explain it. Which these are all the same fucking filler palette. It's easy to do after you've been doing it for many years, but actually explaining it. Yeah. So like this one you could probably throw down and I might be able to show you on this. But usually the killers break the palettes for me. Yeah, but if it's an unsafe palette, they won't. They should. Depends on how how I don't know where you went. I'm on this side of shack. I don't know your video's too late. Oh there you are. So yeah, this pallet, which is a kind of, some killers might mind game, it most probably won't. So I would throw it immediately, don't explain. even try to, like, juice it? Well, I'm just trying to explain to you scenarios. You would obviously loop it first, you would obviously loop it and loop it and loop it until I get close enough to get the pallet thrown on me. And then there's also the thing where you have to learn, like usually your teammate will call out, like, hey, this killer's respecting pallets, or this killer is just walking through pallets, and that's how where you know, hey, I might just stop at a pallet and you get more distance to run around again, because I'm a respecting pallets, because I'm an idiot. Or if I'm not respecting pallets, you'll know to just throw down the pallet the moment I get close enough, if that makes sense. You gotta understand what the killer's gonna do, how they're gonna play the pallet. Like, a decent killer will probably just eat most pallets. <laughs> Unless it's super loud and safe. So like that, yeah. And then, this is a shitty ass loop to be at. You'd have to, I don't know, camera angles. And I just learned recently you can look through the Twitch. I honestly didn't know. Or what? Come here. So if you aim your camera angle like kind of downward on this, you'll be able to look higher up, and you can see me through the tires to know if I'm going I'm faking through, if I'm going back. If that makes sense. Yeah, but barely, you got to pay real close attention. Barely. But if I'm yeah, moving... Yeah, that's the difference between a good survivor and a not good survivor. <laughs> you gotta learn these these spots in the loops. And whenever they, the game developers actually catch on to these types of things, they usually get patched anyways. Now I see the red light through it. Ah, yeah, you gotta... You gotta uh, I'm just trying to show you these spots so you're aware of the, what you gotta pay attention to in chase. On top of looking at me. But it's uh, all happening so fast that it's like... Yeah, but that's why we're here, so I can show you slowly, and then in-game it'll be like, you can just, it'll be something in the back of your mind you're thinking about, mid-chase. that makes sense? It won't, it won't be as much effort to think about it and do it, it'll, you'll just do it, essentially. Like a, like a really good survivor does. Uh, there's more, there was more, but like, I guess I can't really show you on these because there's too much grass, but certain van loops, 
if you crouch really quickly and angle your camera down, you can also tell. Like, I have to switch the map to show you completely. I'm not sure if it would work on this, but if you crouch and angle your camera down, you should be able to see my feet and know if I'm faking around or not. It's more useful for like Haddonfield, not Haddonfield, uh, on fence maps with the the white van and shit. If you know what I'm talking about, the really big white van. But you have to be really good and really quick at angling your dad. Okay, to get a good understanding of well, uh, how would angling it down show? I, I'll switch the map and you'll, you'll, you'll better explain it. I'll switch. The map. It'll take two seconds. If for this map, it doesn't make sense because that truck's really small. But for other maps, it will make sense. I'll show you. Or I think even this ambulance on this map would would show you what I mean. But I think it's this map that has the van that I. I'm really thinking about. Oh yeah, the guy in common sand. But no, on certain maps the car is too big for you to look over. So you have to look under instead. So I'm trying to teach him. Under. Yeah, on certain maps the car is too big and it but it's high it's got enough lift you can look under it to see their feet. 